Welcome to the 40th installment of Tell Em Alejandro. You know one place for sports called Video Game Fitness. If you're a man, you're here. Miss Alejandro, about to tell him? What you about to tell him, Alejandro? I'm about to tell you about the top five small forwards in the NBA. Tell him, Alejandro! Number five, I got AI, Iggy, Andre Iguodala. Iguodala this season, he's been somewhat banged up and injured, but I like his game. He's very athletic. I believe he's about 6'6", 220. He can play small forward and shooting guard. Very outstanding, outstanding perimeter defender. I like his defense a lot. That's really his strong suit. Offensively, he's improved his jump shot, specifically his three-pointer, and I notice he's a better ball handler now, and he's facilitating and getting his teammates involved, but I don't feel like offensively, like he has a skill set like a, like a James Harden or a Melo, like a true scorer that could drive, draw fouls, and hit a mid-range jump shot, but I do think that Iggy got some game. Iggy last season averaged 13 points, 5.3 rebounds, 5.4 assists, and 1.7 steals. Shout out to my man Iggy. Number four, I got Star Mello, Carmelo Anthony. It's a shame what's going on with Mello in New York. I really feel like the owner James Dolan let Mello and everyone in New York down, and he didn't build a team around Mello. Mello needs a, a point guard. He needs Rondo or Chris Paul around him to really succeed and excel and go to the next level. Unfortunately, Amare Stoudemire's knees just have not held up and allowed him to be the player that he was in Phoenix. I do think Mello's going to leave this summer. I think he's either going to the Bulls or the Clippers. I don't see the Knicks keeping him. The Knicks should trade him if they were smart. They would trade him during the trade deadline but or before the deadline. But they're not going to trade him. The owner wants money. That's what he cares about. And having Melo on the team is going to make more money for the team. Because, you know what I'm saying, who doesn't want to come see a better player, a good player, rather than come see bums? The thing about Melo is this summer he's going to really show us his true colors in terms of is he about the money or is he about winning. He's either going to sign a big fat contract with the Knicks and and basically be in the same situation next season and probably for years to come where we're just a bad team. Or he's going to take less money and go to a, a good team where he has a chance at actually winning a championship. So we'll see what Melo decides. This season he's definitely balling though. His skill set, he don't play no deep. Offensively he's a... He's a juggernaut. After Kevin Durant, I think he's the second best offensive weapon in the league. He's phenomenal. His stats this season are 27.4 points, 8.6 rebounds, 3 assists, 1.1 steals, and he's averaging 2 threes a game. I know things ain't going to get better for Melo, but don't worry, Melo. I see you, and hopefully you'll have some success in the future when you go to a good team. Number three. I got Paul George. Paul George is balling. He really stepped up during the playoffs and showed that he's here to stay. He is a superstar in the league. The way I saw the way that he played against LeBron James. It was phenomenal. This season, I do think him and his team, the Indiana Pacers, are going to overtake LeBron in the East and beat the Miami Heat and possibly win the championship. We'll see. That's just my prediction. But I think Paul George is a stud. I think he's going to be around for the next 10, 12 years. He's great. He could dunk. He can he's, he can shoot a three point. He can go left or right. And his defense also is top notch. This is why I have him above Melo. Melo doesn't play any defense, whereas Paul George is a two way stud. This season, Paulie is averaging 22.6 points, 6.4 rebounds, 3.5 assists, 1.8 steals, and 2.3 three pointers. Shout out to Paulie. Number two, I got the Durantula KD for MVP. Mr. 54 himself, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is wet. He is. Honestly, it's like you made somebody from a video game. He's almost seven feet tall. He can handle the basketball, cross cats up. He can go both left or right, finish left or right, can finish at the hoop. He can shoot from anywhere in the court. Probably even 90 feet with a regular form, not even over overextending himself. Kevin Durant is unbelievable. And defensively, he's picking up his defense this year. He's blocking shots and getting some steals. And what he improved on his game, where Katz kind of said he kind of needed to improve, was his passing, his vision, his facilitation. With Russell Westbrook going down with an injury, he's upgraded his game to another level. He is this season's MVP. Don't let no one tell you he's not. He is a boss like me. This season, KD is averaging 31 points. He's automatic. 7.6 rebounds, 5.5 assists, 1.5 steals, 2.2 three-pointers a game. He's the best offensive player in the league. KD for MVP. He's the second best small forward in the league, unfortunately. Number one, no drum roll. I'm not the biggest fan in the world, but I respect his game. The number one player 
in the league, I'm sorry, number one small forward is LeBron James. LeBron James last night had a big game against the Golden State Warriors. He hit a game-winning three on the road. That's what's up. Shout out to him for doing that. This season, he's averaging 26.3 points, 6.9 rebounds, 6.6 assists, 1.4 steals, and 1.3 three-pointers made. LeBron, there's nothing else for me to say about his game. There's nothing he's lacking in. He's probably destined to win a third championship this year if, if, he, if his team doesn't lose to the Pacers and if Dwayne Wade could stay healthy. After this season, who knows where he's going to go. He may or may not stay with Miami. Wherever he goes, best believe some championships are probably going to follow with him. Big ups to LeBron James. Now, some other small forwards that did not make my list, but I do think they got game. Let's start off with Kawhi Leonard for the San Antonio Spurs. Kawhi Leonard could ball. I saw him in a playoffs matchup versus LeBron James, and he really made LeBron James work hard. You know what I'm saying? That was impressive. I didn't think that Kawhi had it in him. I thought LeBron was really going to take advantage of him. Kawhi Leonard is a great defender. Offensively, he could drive, and he could. I saw him slamming on some cats, probably Birdman a few times. And he can shoot the corner three. He's great at shooting the corner three. And the Spurs excel in ball movement and spacing out. So Kawhi Leonard is a good fit for the Spurs. I like Kawhi. He's going to have a bright future. Next, Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay, I feel like he kind of like Josh Smith in, in where like he, he's kind of underachieving in my opinion. But Rudy has game. He's 6'8". He can play both small forward and shooting guard. Not really much to say about him. I, I would say he's like a, a poor man's Tracy McGrady. He's not the scorer that T-Mac once was. But he's a poor man's T-Mac. Next, Jeff Green. I like Jeff Green a lot. I've seen some of the stuff that he did in the playoffs. It was very impressive. I like Jeff Green a lot. He was one of the five players that the Oklahoma City Thunder drafted when they drafted Durant, Westbrook, Harden, Green, and uh, what was it, Ibaka. And Jeff Green, he's a pretty good talent. If out of like a, like if you were rating him by letter, I'd give him like a B, probably a, a B plus. Jeff Green's a good player. And last but not least, Nicholas Batum. I'm not crazy about Batum, but I play fantasy basketball on ESPN. And Batum, he's like a top 20 player. So that's got to stand for something. So Nick Batum, he holds it down. So there you have it, folks. That's Mr. Alejandro's top five small forwards in the league. And if you don't like that, tell him in the comments. Tell Tonight's magenta bow tie is brought to you by Lauren. Ralphie, baby. You already know that's my man. Tune in for more sports, cars, video games, fitness, and all that. Follow at Salam Alejandro on Twitter to hear my immediate reaction to live sports events. Outro music.